In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use selectors in MongoDB, which is similar to the WHERE clause in SQL. So in SQL, we would say select star from the name of the table, where the column equals some criteria. In MongoDB, we would say db.collection.find, and then the field that we're looking for, and then the value that we're looking for. So notice that this selector is in the first set of curly brackets rather than the second set that was used to limit the specific columns that we were interested in. So if I wanted to see all the customers that reside in Florida, I'd say db.customer.find, and then in the selector I'd say address.state colon Florida. So I've gone ahead and copied this query over to the server. I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we can see that all the customers that reside in Florida have been returned from the customer collection. We can also select documents using conditional operators. So in SQL, that where criteria would include greater than or equal to or less than or equal to or any other type of criteria. In MongoDB, we would say db.collection.find, and then in that first set of curly brackets, we'd specify the field that we are going to use this criteria on. And then we'd have colon, and then another set of curly brackets, and then the specific action that we're going to take, and then the value that we're going to compare that action against. This action could be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, in, not in, or not equal to, not equal to any of the conditionals, or exists, as you can see here in the middle of this slide. So for example, if I wanted to show the name and state of customers located in Florida, New Mexico, or New York, I'd say db.customer.find, and then in the selector criteria, I'd look for the address.state, then we'd open up a curly bracket, use the in action, and look for Florida, New Mexico, and New York. And then if I wanted to only display the name and state, I'd include the name one, and then the address.state one, and then I'd exclude the ID by using zero. So I've gone ahead and copied this query to our server. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And you can see that only the name and the address of the customers have been returned. And you can see that the states either reside in Florida, New Mexico, or New York. We can also select documents using regular expressions. So in SQL, we used what was called wildcards, where we would select from a table where the column equals some kind of criteria. We'd use the percentage signs to specifically look for certain kinds of criteria. In MongoDB, we would do this by saying db.collection.find, and then the specify the field that we are going to filter on, and then any regular expression. Regular expressions are a whole different animal, and in order to find more information about regular expressions, I encourage you to research it on the web. There's plenty of documentation out there. So if I wanted to show customers with the letters chur in their name, I just say db.customer.find, and then we're going to look for chur inside of their name. So this would return customers such as those that have furniture as part of their name. Then we're going to show unique states for customers whose name starts with an F. So we say db.customer.distinct, then we're going to look for address.state. We are going to use the name field, and we're going to look for anything that starts with F. And in regular expressions, we use the caret symbol to indicate that something's going to start with whatever the next character is. So in this case, F. So we're back at the server. I've copied these two queries over. I'm going to go ahead and run this first query. And we can see all these customers do have the characters T-U-R-E inside of their name. All right, so the next one I'm going to run is the second query. And we see the distinct states for customers whose names start with F. Additionally, we can use multiple selectors in MongoDB. In the SQL, we use the AND and the OR to be able to specify multiple criteria or to exclude certain types of criteria. In MongoDB, we'd say db.collection.find, and then we specify the first criteria. So we could say field one is equal to a certain value. And then we have a comma and include other criteria, such as OR, where we're going to look at two different other criteria, where field two is equal to some other criteria or it's equal to another type of criteria. So for example, if I wanted to show all customers with the letters CHUR in their name that are located in New York or Texas, I could say db.customer.find, then we're going to use the name column and look for anything with CHUR in it, and then we're going to look for either New York or Texas by saying dollar sign or colon square bracket, and then we have curly brackets saying address.state is in New York, and then comma address.state is in Texas, and then we close all of our square brackets and curly brackets. So we're back at the server. I've copied this query over. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And we do see that these customers have sure in their name. 
and if I go ahead and open up the rays, we'll see that all of these reside in Texas or New York. Okay, so now let's have you try a few on your own. So do two, four, and five. The other numbers are for you to do additional practice. So pause this video, try this on your own, and then come back to compare your answers. Okay, so here we are at the server. We're gonna use the person collection. So I'm going to find, and in this one, I'm going to do the filter criteria. So we're gonna look for the age column. Specifically, we're going to look for where the age is less than 40 years old. So we gotta make sure that we have all the brackets in the right spot. So I go ahead and run this, and we see that there is one person who is younger than 40 years old. In the second query, we are going to show only the first name, last name, and occupation for people whose occupation is actor or developer. So we're gonna say db.person.find. Then we're gonna have our filter criteria and our display criteria in curly brackets. So in our filter criteria, we're going to look for an occupation colon, and then we're going to put that in curly brackets. The criteria we're going to use is the in criteria, colon, and then in square brackets, we're going to look for the actor, comma, developer. And then in our display criteria, we only want to display the first, colon, one, the last, colon, one, the occupation, colon, one, and we want to exclude the ID, so we'll have zero. We'll go ahead and run this. And sure enough, we have the first, last, and occupation for all those that have an occupation of developer or actor. This final query is to show all people whose occupation begins with act. So we'll do db.person.find. And then in our filter criteria, we're going to specifically look for the occupation where it starts with act. So we'll have a caret mark, act, and then close our regular expression. We will run this. And this shows me all those people who have an occupation that starts with the act.